when we are talking about development of the Inno Life uh, Research Center, first of all, we need to know about what we have in hand and what we can make best use of those already in hand to make us even from strength to strength. We have now uh, 16 number of staking lab, uh, eight number of them that is about uh, linked to the uh, life and health sciences. And we also have the you know, Hong Kong Research Center. The problem itself is that they are scattered around in many different areas. So how can we make good use of those already in hand, the resources that we have to make it have a better synergy effect? That's the concept behind why we think we need to have better coordination to have all those important laboratories uh, grouped together to build in our loop area to make us from strength to strength. That's even stronger to have a better and stronger and bigger platform to develop and life science in Hong Kong. When we are talking development of those uh, land supply to support our building of infrastructure for the INT development, so we need to understand very well that what we have is the loop area. We have all together 87 hectares that we can make use of it to develop our uh, well, you know, and innovation and technology center. For other areas, for, uh, well, for example, for the uh, Eastern Corridor, uh, uh, the sea recommendation, and they may need time to have more follow study before we can really know about the program that we can have. And also we need to know about the demand from the inter trade industry before we decide the program. So in the coming future, we are going to conduct some study with other bureaus to confirm the program before we uh, proceed ahead on the real construction work. At the present moment, what we have in hand is the loop area that we have already secured funding from the let and so that we are going to proceed with the construction and make ready the land supply, the building supply to support our innovation and development at those areas.